Hello, my name is Sabrina Delgado Arias. I am a research scientist with Science Systems and Applications Inc. at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center, where I serve as coordinator for ISAT-2 mission applications. This presentation provides a brief overview of the ISAT-2 mission and of the data access and discovery tools that are available through the NASA National Snow and Ice Data Center Distributed Active Archive Center. I also provide an overview of our efforts to foster and support the use of ISAT-2 data. I am presenting on behalf of our colleagues at the National Snow and Ice Data Center, Steve Tanner, Amy Steiker, and Amy Fitzgerald, and also on behalf of Rodrigo Paiva and João Paulo Breda from the Federal University of Rio Grande do Sul in Brazil. Also on behalf of our ISAT-2 applications team at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. NASA's Ice Cloud and Land Elevation Satellite 2 launched September 2018. It is the highest resolution laser altimeter ever operated from space, having a footprint of 11 meters and taking one measurement every 70 centimeters. While the primary goal of ISAT 2 is measuring ice on both land and sea, it also measures all surface heights, including that of forests, inland water, atmosphere, and oceans. ISA-2 uses a green laser at 532 nanometers, consisting of six beams arranged in three pairs that provide us with observations such as the ones we see here, captured over a forested landscape in Mexico, where ISA-2 measured elevation for a forested hillside, shallow water bathymetry, and ocean waves. ISA-2 has been collecting science data since October 2018. It has transmitted over 763 billion laser pulses and 15,000 hours of science data collection. NASA's NSIDC DAC hosts all open and freely available ISA-2 data and has a vested interest as a member of the International Council for Science World Data System in fostering and supporting the use of this data. The NSIDC DAC provides a landing page for each ISA-2 product that includes an overview of the data product, a user guide, references for citing the data, and a download tab that allows users to perform spatial and temporal searches, subsetting, reformatting, and reprojection via the Earth Data Search application. ISA-2 data is large, up to a terabyte of data per day, making new ways of handling the data necessary. The NSITC DAC provides access to tools such as Open Altimetry, which allows users to quickly visualize and access ISAT and ISAT2 data using a map-based interface that allows for creation and inspection of elevation profiles for an area of interest. The NSIDC also provides an Application Programming Interface, or API, that allows users to access the data programmatically using specific temporal and spatial filters. Users can also directly download the data utilizing the API via a Jupyter notebook available on GitHub that also allows exploration of data coverage, size, and customization services. Another effort to break down barriers to data access and use is the new iSpix community managed and curated by the NASA NSIDC DAC. The community is composed of ISA2 data users, developers, and the scientific community, all working together to develop a shared library of resources that simplify the process to query, obtain, analyze, and manipulate ISA2 datasets to enable scientific discovery. We invite the Latin America and Caribbean community of users to join in this effort. NASA also fosters the use and discovery of ISA-2 data through the ISA-2 Applications Program, which seeks to partner with institutions and individuals to increase awareness of ISA-2 observations and encourage effective use of data for improved decision making. The Application Program hosts applied users that provide insights into how the mission data products can be scaled and integrated to inform resource management, policy development, and decision making. Rodrigo Paiva and his team at the Federal University of Rio Grande do Sul in Brazil are one of the mission's early adopters who are investigating how to effectively assimilate ISA-2 elevations into a continental scale river hydrodynamic model to improve bathymetry and roughness parameters, aiming at improving hydrology predictions, which are used, for example, by the National Water Agency of Brazil. Paiva and colleagues have developed the first high resolution 30 meter water depth and topography maps for middle lower Amazon 
using ISA2 for terrain elevation and vegetation cover to correct for vegetation bias. They have also investigated the use of ISA2 to improve the accuracy of riverbed elevation estimation. This concludes our brief overview. Thank you for your interest. I encourage you to engage with us and to share with us your use of ISA2 data. If you're interested in learning more about ISA2 data management, Steve Tanner will be presenting at the panel on February 10, hosted by the second Latin American and Caribbean workshop. Also, the NASA Applied Remote Sensing Training Program will be hosting a webinar uh, from February 9 to February 23rd on mapping and monitoring lakes and reservoirs using satellite observations, including ISAT2.